How do you answer those who argue that scientists cannot use intelligent agency as an explanatory mechanism? Scientists routinely use intelligent agency as an explanatory uh, tool. Um, archaeologists do it all the time when they're trying to determine whether an, uh, a stone which seems to be shaped in a peculiar fashion was actually an arrowhead or just a an oddly shaped stone. Um, there was a project funded by the federal government for, oh, 10, 15 years or so uh, called the SETI project, which stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And scientists engaged in that project used radio telescopes to scan the, uh, the universe for evidence of radio signals uh, perhaps originating from some alien planet being sent to the Earth. They were confident. Now, there's a lot of radio uh, waves in, in uh, space arising from natural processes. But they were confident that they could detect an intelligently designed radio wave even in the background of, of uh, natural radio waves. And so they were confident that they could detect intelligent design, too. And I just think that we can apply the same reasoning to biological systems. That is, we can detect a, an intelligently designed purposive system uh, just by looking at the system, realizing what the criteria are, that it, it has to be a functional system, that it has to be a complex system. The same sorts of criterion, uh, altered for uh, biology, but the same sorts of criteria that the astronomers used to see if they could detect uh, radio waves from other planets.